My beautiful friends, it's Amanda here, and today we're talking about the newest lip product from NARS. These are the Power Matte lipsticks. These have been getting so hyped up all over social media. I've seen so many people, especially on Instagram, sharing about these, talking about these. NARS actually sent over these four shades to me in PR, so I really wanna put these to the test and see if they're worth all the hype these have been getting. I've actually been wear testing one of the shades today. We're gonna do close-ups, details, I'll do a little wear test with a mini review and I'll also show you lip swatches of the four shades that I have here on hand. This lipstick is currently available. It's priced at 34 US dollars a piece. You can find this on the NARS website. It's also at Sephora and Ulta, but it looks like both Sephora and Ulta are not carrying the full 15 shade range. So depending on which color you're interested in, that may point you towards which retailer is best for you. First, let's take a close up look at this product and its packaging. Just to give you a size reference, because I do think it's hard to tell just when you see this by itself. Here's a regular MAC lipstick. So you can see this is a very long, very skinny lipstick tube compared to a more traditional lipstick bullet like this one. All of the outer packaging is that soft touch matte feeling that you will recognize from other NARS products, particularly their face powder compacts and each shade has a color coordinated outer packaging. There are stickers on the bottom with the shade names in addition to the color coordinated packaging. The lid just pulls off, it's not magnetic, and then you just twist up to dispense the product. Pretty standard. Functionality wise, it's very standard. It's just the long skinny size that is really what sets this apart packaging wise. Now this little card with the key claims came in the PR box. So I'm just gonna go through these claims and since I've been wear testing this lipstick today, we'll see if the product can live up to the claims. So it says 10 hour staying power. I've only been wearing this for about four hours. So we'll see about that. One swipe potent payoff. I actually agree with that. I did not have to do any building up. And I'll also show you some live swatches on my arm so you can see this actually being applied to the skin in real time. All day comfort, all out confidence. Okay, confidence does not come from lipstick. I'll say it's decently comfortable for a matte lipstick. I have dry skin and I have dry lips, so I do tend to feel less comfortable with matte products of any kind. This isn't too bad, feels pretty lightweight. It's not completely weightless, but there are a couple times where I'm like, ooh, I feel my lips feel matte. Overall, pretty comfortable, I have to say. Transfer resistant, we will do a kiss test to see. High intensity, high performance, that's just kind of buzzwords at this point. Daringly dynamic, cream to matte texture, fearless matte, featherweight feel. All right, so they didn't really get straight to the point with those claims, which is fine. I mean, this is marketing and it's very on brand for NARS. This kind of language just definitely feels true to the brand. So, you know, it's, it's fine, it is what it is. When we boil this down, they're saying 10 hours of wear, one swipe, that it's comfortable, transfer resistant, not transfer proof, that it has a cream to matte texture, and a lightweight feeling. I'd say overall, pretty true. Before I do a transfer test, I just wanna show you a very, very close up look at what this looks like four hours after application. In the four hours I've been testing this, I haven't eaten a meal. I did drink some water and I did eat a Reese's pumpkin, just full disclosure, because it's October and that's what I do. At any given moment, I might be eating a Reese's pumpkin. So let's zoom in and take a close up look at what this looks like four hours after application. I think overall it looks pretty good. The color is definitely still very visible. Lip line looks great. You know, I have some, it's definitely worn off pretty much the inner half of my upper lip, probably from drinking water. And probably the inner one third of my lower lip. You can see pretty clearly where it's gone here. 
in here. But it looks pretty decent. I think it looks passable, you know. I would prefer to touch it up at this stage, but I could get away with not doing so. Obviously, it's worn off a little bit, but you know, four hours, I think it looks pretty good. Still feels pretty good. Let's do a kiss test on the back of my hand and I'm really just gonna like smooch the back of my hand really hard. You can see there's nothing on my hand right now. And now you've seen a close up of my lips. So if any parts come off, you'll be able to tell the difference, hopefully. So let's try it out. Wow, that's really good. I mean, yeah, hold on. Okay, that's impressive. It definitely looks more worn down on my lips now, but there's not anything. I'm honestly, I'm surprised by that. I thought we were gonna see a decent amount of transfer because it does specifically say transfer resistant and not transfer proof. So I feel like they passed the transfer test for sure. I went in very skeptical of this lipstick and I feel like I'm being impressed. Now that you've had a close up look at the packaging, you've heard the claims and a little bit about the wear test that I've been experiencing today, I wanna show you some live swatches on my arm and I also wanna show you some lip swatches. Let's get into all those swatches now. These are the four shades that I have for today's video. No Angel, American Woman, Too Hot to Hold, and Killer Queen. I did want to show you some live swatches so that you could just see what the coverage was like and what the texture looked like applied in real time. Sometimes I think it's easier to see on my pasty little arm versus on lips, which my lips are decently pretty pigmented. So this way you can get a good idea of what the application looks like, what these shades look like. I also like to show swatches all together, especially with lip colors where they can tend to look really, really similar from one lip swatch to the next. So I like to see them all lined up together. That way you can actually really compare and contrast them and see the little similarities and differences between all of the shades that I have to show you here today. I am going to play you a little background music for the lip swatches because my voice is feeling pretty tired, so cue the music editing, Amanda. After wearing this lipstick all day, I'm actually way more impressed with it than I thought I was gonna be because it's just so hard for me to really love a matte product. I did not go into this with the highest expectations, especially because I tend to automatically get weary of a product when it gets a lot of hype on social media. Sometimes the hype is warranted, sometimes it's not. I do think this is a good product. I still prefer the Power Matte Lip Pigments from NARS. I did a whole swatch and review video with those several years ago when they first launched. And personally, I do find that product to just suit me better. Not only is the Power Matte Lip Pigment slightly less expensive than this Power Matte Lipstick, but I just find it to be overall formula wise a little bit more impressive, a little bit more of a standout formula. So while the Power Matte Lipstick is good, I think the Power Matte Lip Pigments are great. Those are more weightless, those are longer wearing, and overall I just prefer that formula to this one. But I do like this one more than I thought I would. So I understand why so many people are hyping this. 
I just don't think that it is the best power matte lip product in my opinion. Now's the time when I wanna hear what you think about this product. Are you interested? Have you picked this up? Have you checked out the other shades? I always love to hear what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Editing Amanda, I'm putting you to work. That was really weird. The, I said that in a really weird way. Zoned out there for a minute, not gonna lie to you. That happens. Last one, last one. This looks cool with my snake earrings. Okay, let me ask you a question. This is for all the people that stayed to the end. Do you have anything from your like family or your childhood or whatever that you didn't realize was weird until you got a little bit older and met other people's families? Because I'm gonna tell you mine. I didn't realize until I was probably a teenager and I was actually spending decent chunks of time in other people's homes with their families. I didn't realize that some families were really more formal with each other. And what I mean by that is like my family is super silly, joking and teasing. I have two sister, two younger sisters, I'm the oldest, but we're all in our thirties and we speak to each other in funny voices. We make up like weird songs. I didn't realize that not everybody was like that. I just thought everybody's family, even my extended family, like my aunts, my grandparents and stuff, were just not formal around each other. Obviously there's a time and a place. We're not gonna be complete weirdos everywhere, anytime. But when we're hanging out at home, we're very casual, we're very wear pajamas, come as you are, nobody's gonna bat an eye if you wanna have a drink with lunch. I didn't realize that not everybody was like that. I thought everybody's families were really silly and goofy and kooky and casual. And some of these are probably not good. There are probably a lot of things in the world where you realize that something's not normal and it's not a good thing. I'm just excited because I actually get to see some of my family members and my sisters soon, so that's why this is all kind of bubbling up. But anyway, I would love to know if you have anything like that where you didn't realize that not everybody did something that you grew up doing. So is your family weird, goofy, kooky, doing voices on the phone? I will commit to a voice for a whole voicemail. I will leave a whole voicemail to one of my sisters in another voice. I've done it many times. Okay, I've probably said too much. I'm gonna go. See you later. Focus, pay attention. My camera is blinking at me. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. You are, you're just a peach. You're just a genuine, sweet, juicy little peach. And I'm just, you know what? I'm glad you're here. And I love your face. And I'll see you real soon. Okay, bye.